Hi guys, this is DFX Pictures, and today I will be showing you how to create an, a basic intro in Adobe After Effects because this was requested by my good friend Just BMX. Okay, at the end, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, it's going to look like this. Yeah, you got some uh, effects over there, you can see. You know, and then it. You know, then you, you can see a nice background, the snowflakes are increasing, and then the actual text has some cool effects. So, today, let me show you how to do that. Okay, you want to go to new com composition? Well, I'm usually saying composition because of that one tutorial video, because the guy mispronounced it. Anyways, use your own settings. I'm going to use pre whatever, it doesn't matter. Duration, I'm just going to use 15. Click OK. Alright, right click, go to new, solid. Now the solid I use is Royal Blue Solid 2. So, and the number is right there. You can copy that. I'll say it right now if you can't see it. 1066FE. I mean 3, okay? Alright, and click OK. Then you want to go to effect, s simulation, CC Snow. Amount, you want to make a keyframe here. It starts at 300, you go to the very end, and you put it at, these are just my presets, you can use whatever, 838.4. Okay, the speed, you're going to want to put at 2.7. Amplitude, put it at 5. Frequency, put it at 6.6. .6. Flake size, now I'm going to do another keyframe here and then put it at 9. Keyframe it. And then put it at 2. And I'll pass the at 100. Okay, then you want to go to not the full length of your video, but about three quarters and just a little bit. Take your text tool. Sorry, I'm rushing, guys, but um, gotta make this tutorial under f ten minutes. You make your text box. Type whatever you want. I'm using the Technoid because it looks easy. I'm going to type Aaron. Move it around wherever you want. Now get the pen tool and take your time here, guys, because or pick a good font that's easy because the pen tool is a little bit complicated sauce okay um yep just like this connect it make sure the whole thing has pen and there is a purpose for this just, of course it's going to go out of the actual text like you'll see lines but don't worry this is normal just make sure you got the inner text like the actual font all penned up. All right. Then you want to go to effect, generate, stroke. Okay. Um. Give me a second. All right. Yeah. Sorry, guys. You want to put the brush size to about like thirteen or something. That's just what I use. Then you go to end keyframe it at a hundred. Go down. Put it at zero. Paint style. Reveal original image. Then click on this. And then you can already see a nice little effect right there. Because the snow is increasing and the text is uh, getting larger and all that. Okay. Now effect. Stylize. CC glass. Okay. Let me. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, prop. Light. Property. Lightness. Uh, softness. 22.8. So let me change that. Um, height, I use 12, I, uh, displacement, 100, light intensity, 100, type, point light, that is important, and the height, 65, position, is, just keep it at that, oh, sorry, this changed to 381, these are just my presets, but you use whatever, Please, um, okay, then you go, you can s skip this because it doesn't really make a difference, but you can 
Go to, uh, you can make a radio blur, CC radio blur. So I'll just make it easier and do this, CC radio blur. Okay, amount, I'm only going to put the amount is 0 0.5. Quality though, 100. Okay, so, wow, well, right, okay, um, almost done though, so. And then you can see a little bit. Okay, then you want to add glow. Once again, effect, stylize, glow. Okay, the only thing is color A, make it your second layer color. Color B, make it white. Okay, and then... Uh, oh, sorry, then glow dimensions, just make it horizontal. Okay, kids? Alright, cool. Then you want to do find edges, effect, stylize, find edges. Uh, make sure the blend's at zero. You can put it at 100, it still looks okay, but I, I just put mine at zero. See, now you can already see a few effects along the way. Like, still doesn't look bad it's is very simple for after effects considering what a great program it is but you know it it's it gets the jo job done in my opinion so okay um then you want to go to effect stylize mosaic okay now here's another ki cool one uh keyframe it so it Make it so they're both at, uh, the horizontal is at 200 and the vertical is at 200 as well, right? And you want to go to the very beginning and make the first one at 52, second one at 19, and then you get a little mosaic effect you know like that looks decent looks decent is basic um yeah then changes the things and then that's it guys um but let me just show you what everything did as well okay let's just lo look at the background first off you see just a little bit of snow right but as the text is enlarging with all of it effects there is more snow and snow is bigger so that's what we changed the stroke is to give it that uh uh that one effect so if i just delete it you'll see what it does so can't really see it but it gave it that uh <sighs> you you saw it as i did it gave it that like enlargement effect um Oh, sorry, and it made it do this. Wow, what was I talking about? It, it made it like the letters. That's what the stroke did, right? So, then the CC glass. Okay. The CC glass just gave it like a little bit of glassy effect, you know, like. I'll delete that, see if you can. Uh, yeah, see, it gave it that one effect. The, well, I'm sorry. Gave it a clear effect, and then CC radio blur, that just blurs it. A radius, um, that's simple. The glow, it glows it, but we made the light color similar to our background in text. Um, find edges that made the edges, you know, like, the color that they were and the mosaic gave it the mosaic effect so overall i think it's uh pretty pretty decent i mean yeah pre is pretty decent so hope you enjoyed this tutorial please comment and subscribe and yep that's it if you have any ideas for a tutorial please comment and subscribe thank you